all the folks that don't like us out there in the world, they've been watching what we've been doing for the last 15, 18 years. They know what we're good at and they know what we're not good at. So what do you think they're going to focus on? The things we're not good at. Which means when we go out there in the operating environment, everybody, not just officers and staff and COs, but even the most junior Marines has to understand. They're going to throw things at us that we've never seen before. So what do you do with that? How do you train for that? Training is important, but education gives you what enables you to deal with things that, well, I've never seen this one before. So it helps you deal with the unknown. Throughout, as long as anybody can remember, Training Education Command has been a major general or two-star level command. Uh, and it's been placed within Marine Corps Combat Development Command, which is a three-star billet. By elevating it to a three-star level command, making it the commanding general of Training and Education Command, it, that individual general officer will now have authority over all things Training and Education in the Marine Corps, equivalent to the senior leaders of the Marine Corps. If we are going to change the Marine Corps, if we're going to redesign the Marine Corps for the future, the system we have today to educate, the system we have today to train has to change too. There's not going to be a need for a less educated individual in the future. What we do with that education, what that education is, what that training is, is a blast of the skills that we need in order to be able to compete and fight in a future environment. That's why we need Marines to be invested in this. But this new paradigm we're getting ready to go into, we'll provide that to them. Have the buy-in, accept the change. That's what the intellectual edge is. Observe, orient, decide, and act. Because if we do it faster than the enemy, as they're going through their OODA loop, they can't compete. Because by the time they make a decision, it's irrelevant. That's what we have to be able to do. Our advantage is in the mind of the Marine as well as in the physical presence of the Marine. And the more we can invest in the development of the cognitive decision-making ability of Marine, however what form we do that, that will maintain our advantage against any threat, whether it's at low end or against a peer at the high end. Anything that evolves is better. That's what evolution is about, right? Taking one thing and making it better. It doesn't matter necessarily the significance of the general officer commanding it. It's the level of authority that they have to affect those things. That's what the importance is in training education without being elevated to a three-star.